This is meant to be an open discussion, a casual discussion, a, uh, a very frank conversation, really, about what you think about issues, the role of government, your time in Washington, how you compare yourself with other Latinos in your age group. We're all Latinos, but we all have a different background and a different history. And Suddenly all these stereotypes to start describing me and I fall into this mold whether or not actually I believe certain things people automatically start making assumptions depending on the exposure that they've had to people from that party so I, I'm very leery of aligning myself with any political party because suddenly that party has defined my values how I vote how I think it, all these different things should be Hispanics don't um, Hispanics don't all agree on politics that we do tend to be on both sides all right, how many of you would vote for a candidate from a different party. The, the candidate that I, I feel overall, because no candidate is perfect, right. I feel overall is going to do the best job for the country, and that's it. It doesn't matter if, if it's a man, a woman, uh, a black person, a Hispanic person, a white person, how old they are, it doesn't matter. It's just as long as I think that you're going to do the best job for the country, go ahead. You can't classify yourself or vote for someone just because they're Hispanic, because they might not be the best candidate for the job. It's, it's, who cares if you can speak Spanish? In America, they speak English when they're doing government affairs. I think that a lot of Latinos do vote for candidates because they're Hispanic. Because like this guy, because I'm sorry, we're, we're educated, we're up here, we we're involved in this political process. We see beyond it, but people just get snapshots. You know, they get 30 second commercial, they get six o'clock news, a little cameo, and that's where they make their political decisions on. And they see, oh, this guy's Latino. He understands where I'm coming from. I'm gonna vote for him. You know, and I think it does. It, it's a shame that. I think that's kind of our, another one of our responsibilities when we go back is to educate people, you know, let them know, you know, it's the diversity of thought uh, within the Hispanic community. How much of a risk or opportunity is this globally in your generation? Awesome. Do young individuals like yourself need to be concerned about U.S. competitiveness globally? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Does that ever come up? In our culture in this country is, you know, it's dying out. And I don't think that's necessarily holding out to you know agricultural subsidies. Something we talk a lot about isn't necessarily, you know, going to make us competitive all of a sudden. I mean, just you know, it's just trying to hold on to that dying breed instead of trying to hold on to that and being protectionist. Why don't we embrace our changing economy, embrace our technology? Yeah. Um, I'm from Venezuela, so for me, um, the direction Venezuela is taking and how is that's influencing policy in different countries in Latin America is of great concern for the future especially how America is going to respond to it. Being smart, it's very important. It's, it's a, uh, you need to know your stuff, but knowing your stuff isn't going to, that's not enough. You need to know people. You need to put yourself out there.